Ladies and gentlemen, this is the brand new Super Wrangler put out by Ruger. This particular one is chambered in 22 long rifle, but I guarantee you this revolver is not the reason why you're here. This revolver is why you're here. This one is chambered in 22 Magnum. <laughs> yeah, this one hits a little bit harder. Let's get into the video. This is the first Ruger Wrangler. This was introduced four or five years ago. This was Ruger's attempt uh, to make an affordable 22 long rifle six shot revolver. Now with this particular revolver, there's not a lot of bells and whistle. You have a flat top receiver, you have a blade front sight, and some of the early models, the loading gate was very hard to load. Uh, Ruger quickly remedied that um, in probably about six months later. So if you buy a new one of these, the loading gate is not the issue. Uh, but this is chambered in 22 long rifle. And years ago when I did the video, the number one thing that everyone said is, well, why can't you shoot 22 Magnum out of it? Well, Ruger wanted to make an affordable revolver, keep the price point really low. And so they made their original Ruger Wranglers uh, with aluminum cylinder. So it wasn't safe to shoot 22 Magnum out of it. 22 Mag has a whole lot more pressure than a 22 long rifle. So Ruger came up with the Super Wrangler. This is the revolver that I have in my hand. It is still the uh, you know six shot, but they did some changes to it. So no longer is the cylinder made out of aluminum, it is made out of steel, so it can handle the pressures of 22 Magnum and also, of course, 22 long rifle. And they also gave you an adjustable sights and a ramped front sight. The grip is just like the Ruger Single 6. So it's a little bit different, but a little bit of the same. However, they also changed some things internally on the Super Wrangler to make it more accurate than this guy. Now this revolver is fine, but this one is even more accurate, and it is a hoot to shoot in 22 Magnum. Also, what's great about it, it also comes with a 22 long rifle cylinder. Let me load up some mags, let's do some more shooting. All right, I have the cylinder loaded up with some CCI A22, 22 mags. These are 35 grain projectiles going at 2,100 feet per second out of a rifle. So, out of a revolver, you're probably seeing probably about 1,800 feet per second. All right, let's see if we can get that Caldwell Prairie Dog. <laughs> yep, headshot. All right, let's go across the creek. I hit it. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but I hit it. All right. Oh, I hit that one out there at 60 yards. All right. So that is awesome that they make it out of 22 Magnum now. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, how expensive is this? Well, I think Ruger has them on their website uh, for both cylinders and the adjustable sights. Uh, I think MSRP around $329. So what that is going to allow you to do is honestly pick this revolver up for around $260. Okay, so MSRP is going to be about $330. $260, $270 is going to be the real world price. But to change the cylinder out, it's pretty simple. Make sure the firearm is unloaded. Press the button, pull the rod out slightly. And this cylinder should, oh, I got probably got a cock. Nope, we got to get the cylinder out a little bit more. I said it was really simple and I sat there and messed it up, but you do have to pull the cylinder all the way out. I mean the pin. So there goes the 22 mag cylinder. And let's get the 22 long rifle cylinder. Pop it in there like so. There you go. It's as simple as that. Let's load up some CCI standards. And again, it holds six rounds. Some people don't enjoy revolvers. Um, I'm kind of the person who, I love revolvers. I love semi-automatics, but there's just something about when you're going to the range or you just want to go, you know, outside shooting tin cans, you know, loading a revolver, it takes a little bit of time, a little bit more than that of a semi-automatic magazine but there's something therapeutic about it that I really like. So, all right, I got six shots loaded up here. Okay. Let's see if I can, see if I can hit a few things here. Let's start a little close. 
See where my point of aim is. All right, it's close. Let's go with the rack right here. All right, let's go out at 100 yards. That's a hit. 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 All right, did pretty good. So it takes literally, you know, what, 30 seconds to change out the cylinder from 22 long rifle to 22 Magnum. Now, what if you mess up and accidentally shoot a 22 long rifle in a 22 Magnum cylinder? Well, of course, Ruger does not recommend you do this, but I've actually had videos in the past where I have tested 22 long rifle through a 22 Magnum cylinder. It's safe since this cylinder is made from steel. However, you're gonna get some pressure issues and you're gonna get some accuracy issues. So let me load up the revolver again. We'll do some more shooting. All right, I'm gonna load up some more CCIs. Man, these things pack a punch. And you know, I'm kind of glad that Ruger finally went with the 22 Magnum because of this. I have a lot of friends, including myself, we, I like to trap, you know, coyote, uh, beaver, stuff like that. Sometimes 22 long rifle, it's not very humane to shoot them. Yes, it'll take them down, but a 22 Magnum will definitely take them down. Um, and so you've got other Ruger revolvers that can be chambered in 22 Magnum and but not everybody wants to pay like the single six, you know, price point. I think a single six MSRP is like around $900, eight to $900. And you can pick these guys up for probably about $260. So you're basically getting, uh, I don't want to say less quality, but less, I guess, fit and finish um, that you would on a single six. Uh, single six is a beautiful revolver. It's one of my favorite single stage, uh, single action revolvers uh, when it comes to rimfire. You know, this is not going to win any beauty awards, but it is Cerakoted finish, so it's not going to rust on you. It's, it's a working man's gun, okay? It's not a gun that you want to take to the range and come back and oil and put in the safe. No, this is meant to be carried on your hip out in the woods or out running trap lines or, you know, out on the ranch. You know, I've got a lot of friends that live in Texas. They live and die by that 22 long rifle, 22 Magnum revolver on their hip. So, all right, here we go. Let's do some more shooting. I don't know if I can hit it or not, but I've got some magnums loaded up here. The four inch plate at a hundred yards. I tried off of camera and I was like so close each and every time. I'm gonna try to hit it on camera. We'll just see. Hundred yards, four inch plate. Right underneath it. Right to the right. Right above it right like an inch below it an inch to the left <laughs> i think i fired six yep i'm talking i was just scaring it all the way around it so if maybe not been able to hit a squirrel at that distance by but a coyote um you know a beaver groundhog prairie dog yeah i would have hit it most definitely so all right let's load up some more here 22's mag is just fun. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's very little recoil, but you get a lot of concussion off of it. You get a lot of velocity and it's just fun to shoot. Now it's a little bit more expensive to shoot, you know, shooting 10 cans and everything compared to that of 22 long rifle, but it is a fun caliber to shoot. And for self-defense, you put some uh, federal punch in here, 22 Magnum, yeah. And with a revolver, you know, you're not going to get anything more reliable than a revolver. You know, rimfire, a lot of people, reason why people don't want to carry uh, rimfire is self-defense because you do get some light primer strikes, you get some f failure to feeds. But, you know, if you cock the hammer back and you shoot, it doesn't go off. All you gotta do is cock the hammer back and it goes to, rotates the cylinder to a live round and then you're good to go. So revolvers are really good for self-defense, but they do take some discipline to shoot them. Going low, Dave. I was going a little bit low on those. But you know what? They're fun. It's a fun little plinker. And if you shoot these 22 Magnums very much, um, pretty quick, this barrel heats up. <laughs> so it is pretty warm right now. All right, let's load up another cylinder here and let's end this video out. 
But yeah, the Super Wrangler, you know, for the price point, I think Rugler, Rugler, Ruger hit the nail on the head. All right, I think I got one more in my pocket. All right, so I've got five shots here. I'm gonna have to remember that. All right, let's see. All right, I'm gonna go back out at 100 yards. I wanna hit it. Whew. Right above it. Right to the right. Oh, I'm talking, I'm just like a quarter of an inch off. Well, couldn't hit the 100 yard target today, but had fun shooting at it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about the new Super Wrangler, put them in the comments below. Go over to my Facebook page, Instagram page, or Twitter pages and ask them there. Till next time, y'all be safe and keep flicking. All right, you just thought the video was over. I cannot end the video on a miss. And plus, missing that four inch target several times, uh, that's no bueno. Um, I can shoot better than that. And I'm going to hit it. I've hit that four inch revolver hundreds of, I mean, that four inch plate hundreds of times with a revolver. This should be no exception. I think I need to aim just a little bit right. I think it's printing a little bit left. All right. Maybe one day I'll hit a soda can at 700 yards. You guys would like to see that, wouldn't you? All right, here we go. Right under it. <laughs> Finally hit it. All right. Now we can end the video. <laughs> now, guys, y'all be safe and keep blinking.